So what you want to do is get your walls in the order you've got in your instructions book. Uh, the first one we need is this part here. So that's how that looks. And then the next one, you've got two with arches on, as you can see there, but you can see this one is a bit narrow. So you want that one next to here. So that'll be looking like that. File this cushion. So that's nice and neat. It doesn't take long. As I've said, just each one of these are numbered. You got one at the top, seven at the bottom. Hey all, welcome back to the channel, which will three help you all doing good guys, help you all well. Today I'm building the Millennium Falcon from Fanon and we're at issue 25 guys. Here's the parts. And then we've got the magazine, which we're gonna be looking through shortly before looking at the parts. Now, if you're not already subscribed, guys, remember to subscribe, like, also comment and share, and press that bell notification. You will never miss an issue, a video of the Millennium Falcon or anything else on the channel. But without further ado, guys, let's crack on with the Millennium Falcon from Fano. Okay then, so welcome back to another Millennium Falcon build from Phantom Diagnostini guys. Let's take a look through this week's mag before we crack on with this week's build. The Delta 7 Aether Spreet Starfighter. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right guys. Comment down below if I'm not. I do apologise. <laughs> but yeah, you've got usual good content in these mags guys as you can see. Something for you to read between builds and there she is. The Millennium Falcon. Love it. And then we get straight in to this week's parts, which we'll go through shortly, guys. But yeah, as you can see, we've got a hull plate in, hull frame, some little parts there, fixing screws, etc. We've got some more of the jig, which I'm not looking forward to doing that jig, guys. And then we've got internal details. Now, I don't think this week's issue is going to be a pretty long one. We're lining the access walls. So as you can see, there's a lot of sprue cut in here, guys. Just getting them out in order, following the numbers and the instructions. And then at the end of this week's issue, we'll have four walls with all the cushions on. So guys, without further ado, sit back, relax, and I'll get the parts. We'll take a look at that, all the parts, and we'll crack on and get this built. Okay then guys, so let's have a quick look at what parts we've got. We've got some of the hull plating. We've got all these cushions here which we're going to have to be taking off the sprues today to get fitted to the walls. And while I'm on about the walls, here we are, guys. We've got four walls. Story short, guys, these cushions, all they do, they've got little pins at the back. Push them into those holes with a little bit of glue. And then we'll have four walls, the access walls, all done. We've got some little pads here. They go on this jig. We've got a selection of screws and here's the jig guys i would have thought in coming weeks we're going to be assembling this which gets massive to apply the millennium falcon as we're building it and then we've got some whole frame here i'm going to keep that in the bag because i'm not sure we're going to be using it today and obviously the plating i've just said so yeah i'm going to tidy the desk up guys you get yourself comfy and we're going to crack on doing these walls putting the cushions on right guys so what you want to do get your walls in the order you've got in your instructions book uh, the first one we need is this part here so that's how that looks and then the next one you've got two with arches on as you can see there but you can see this one is a bit narrow so you want that one 
next to here so that'll be looking like that and then these are the other two walls so you want these positioned like that guys you've now got it right because you've got like little ridges that's where the cushions are going to go so these are the first two we're going to be doing and then these are the second two so what i've got to do is take all these cushions off the sprue but i think it's advised not to take them all off at once guys just take um as you're doing them and then obviously when you've took them off the sprue if the need file them down file them down so you've got the smooth bits so instruction one it's saying match up sprue with the corresponding two wall panels so let's have a look on here now how do we do that and we're going to find out what's what let's put 25 so right okay so this one guys this sprue you've got 25 on there that is going to be for these two walls here and then obviously these two walls is going to be having that section of sprue so we're going to move those out of the way for now and then we're going to start taking off the cushions to apply to these two parts here these two walls so the first one we're going to take off guys is this bit here Again, if you've got a sprue cutter, guys, go ahead and use it. Let's just get my file. If you wonder what I'm doing here, guys, I'm leaning on the floor to get my file just to file this cushion. So that's nice and neat. did not take long. And then what it's saying do is number eight. I'll tell you what, it's best to start from number one, isn't it? So this is number one. This is cushion one. And where this needs to go, it's just here like that. So I'm going to do a dry fit first. There you go. You get the gist. So I'm going to do a dry fit. I'm going to fit them all on. And then when they're all on, we'll glue them. So the next one is number two. So basically, guys, as you look at this sprue here, that's one. And you've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there is seven on there as you can see so if i just take that off there like that that's number two I'll file that down just as a little quick rub guys it won't take long to get that rough edge off and of course you want the curvage there curvature on the curve of the wall there you go that's the second one. And again, take number three off the sprue. And guys, if you're doing this build, you'll know if you've got the instructions out, it's self-explanatory. As I've said, just each one of these are numbered. You've got one at the top, seven at the bottom, and obviously in between. Now, these have both got, well, they look like they're pretty straight, but that's got a bit of curvature on there. So again, put that on the inside. You get the gist now, I think, guys. And we'll just crack on. Keep getting these cushions off. We're going to do this on four walls. <laughs> so I think I'll show you the first two or three. And then what I might do is time lapse a bit of it. So again, you can slightly see that curve from there. There's not too much because that's the middle cushion. So it just started to straighten a bit there. There you go. So that's looking. I won't hold it up, guys, because if they're not glued in, they're going to fall off. But if you want to know how to check, the curve sides are always on the inside of the sprue. So when you cut them off, just remember to keep it that way around and it'll be simpler to put on the wall. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll film me putting them all on, dry fitted, and then I'll do a time lapse to glue them and put them on the walls. And that will be it for this week's video guys so again see and this one here they have got gaps so there's gaps in the middle there you don't join all the cushions together you leave a little gap so again 
you can see there guys the curvature look so if you keep your sprue the right way around as you're taking the cushions off and it's still raining in the UK man I hope we have some nice weather soon it's dismal very dismal here in the UK it feels like an October month it's like September October depressing <laughs> it is what you make it on now but it's summer come on give us some good weather so yeah that's that one and this week this Millennium Falcon I'm gonna say it, it's a pretty easy issue this week guys it's not a bad one at all but you take them and brace yourself when you get a busy one but yeah it's a Saturday it's like I can't talk a Saturday evening in the UK guys I do hope you're enjoying watching this Millennium Falcon build unless you're watching the Euros if you're into football or if you've had enough and you don't want to watch the football you're bracing yourself for tomorrow when England play <laughs> if you support England whoever you support watch me instead guys until England run that is I'm sure you'll be watching the, the match then right so number eight now the sprue this side now it goes from eight up to 14 so we're working upwards now so you want to go from the bottom and you want to take that cushion which is number eight and then file it again like we've been doing sometimes they cut off pretty neat and you don't need to do this but others you do so what I'm going to do is apply that like so and so that looks okay but as I said eight at the bottom and then you work up to 14 whereas you're putting them on the wall obviously that should be the bottom because it's a wider base to fit on to the Millennium Falcon you put eight from the top on there so eight at the bottom of the sprue eight on the top of the wall that makes sense oh, I nearly lost myself then guys I know what I meant <laughs> It's more self-explanatory to you if you're reading the instructions. So yeah, if you've got the book with you guys, or you're doing it off um, the internet, you'll be fine. That's, that's cool. Make the other cushions off. I love doing this. It's therapeutic, sanding them down, but it does not off make a mess. Which I'm going to have to clean up in a minute because it doesn't look good on videos when you've got all dust everywhere. Right, so, this one here. Yeah, so just stick with us, guys, while I'm just doing this. And then once all the cushions are dry fitted on the wall, I will time lapse it while I'm gluing them on. So, you ain't got to be sitting here bored looking at all this. Look at the cushions being put on. This might get a bit tedious after a bit, I think. <laughs> Good for me because I'm doing it, but if you're watching it, you might get a bit bored. So, again, sun these down. I just don't want to put it on time lapse all the way through the video because it just seems a bit like ignorant that I'm just racing through there explaining what I'm doing. And that's what I'm here for, guys, to help you through if you're doing this build. Or just to entertain you whilst watching me do these wicked builds. So this is 13 and 14 cushion. And what I'd do, once you put all these cushions on, just take one off at a time and glue one at a time. Because if you take them all off the wall, they are going to all go out of order. And you might cause yourself a bit of grief <laughs> trying to find which one goes where, basically. There you go, so that's how those two walls are looking. And last one, last but not least, let's chuck that over there. We don't need that for a second, but we don't need it towards finish with. Send that down. I'm going to need a new file soon, I think. Use this to death. There is a lot of sprue cutting on this build, though, on the Millennium Falcon. And a lot of filing down needed. There you go. That's those two walls done. 
that's how that looks pretty cool so what i'm going to do without knocking these cushions off just push these to one side for now leave those to the left of the screen and then i'm going to bring over i'm just looking at the look on on the instructions that's how that look guys and now we'll go to all that again so basically if you're looking at the sprue if you that's the, the big side that's the little so the little ones are going to be on that wall big ones on that wall and if you look let me just look at this one here first we'll do the big wall first at the top that's number one and that goes down to number seven and then when you're working back up this one's different So yeah, that's one to seven, and um, that's number eight to 14. So first of all, we need to get number one cushion off. Nearly there guys, through this, hopefully not misery for you. It's tedious bit, sanding, cutting. See if you've got a sprue cutter, you might not have to do this as much as me. How that looks. I think that might be the wrong way around. Let me just double check how that looks. Yeah, so you can suss it out, guys, because you just get that curvature, curvature, what you need. I think knowing I'll be saying that a lot today, curvature. If that is a word, I don't think it is. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. And behind the scenes here, I'm a bit panicky because my battery's nearly dead on the phone. I'll just help I get through this video before the battery dies. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna have to pause, charge, and carry on. Bit of editing background there for you guys. Yeah, so you want the flat bit or the diagonal bit, you want this, that diagonal bit there and the, the slope there going that way on the wall. There you go, like that. Every one of these needs filing today, guys. But they are part of the build. Got to be done. Yeah, I think if this is going to plan when you're watching this, tomorrow will be an Elvis short. And then we've got Dom's Charger coming up next. After that. And also we've got the weekly recap. What I do weekly, just to show you guys what's happened in the last week on the channel. And maybe every week, every other week, depending on how I've got on, we have a My Bloopers video as well. I do try and do Amelia Rose and her ponies also as well. Put all this on the channel, check it out. If you're new to the channel, guys, and you wonder what I'm on about, just take a look through the playlist and you'll find all that content. Nearly done with this this wall. Blow that dust off. Yeah, but it's nice being in this new studio I've got guys and you hear the rain chucking it down outside, throwing it down. And I'm just chilling. Doing my building. In my own little world, YouTube world, YouTube land with you guys. Love it. Right, one last cushion for this wall. Then we've got one more wall to do. And then we'll get them glued on. Seriously, I've got a good mind to take a shot of this rain outside. It is absolutely throwing it down. Ridiculous for a June. There you go. That's all done. So we'll gently move that out of the way. And now, last but not least, is this last wall to do. So, you get your sprue like that, guys. And you've got number eight at the top. Just looking, see if there's any numbers on these sprues. I don't think there is. Hmm, it'd be better if they put numbers on there. It's still easy to do. It would be cool if they put numbers on each cushion. It's still easy to do, as I say. You just, if you look at the, the diagram and just tally it up with what you've got in front of you. Right. 
and just look what we're doing here. That's it. Let's go and do it back to front for you guys. So that's got to go. That's number eight cushion. And this is number nine. Double check that, yeah, see if I'm doing this right. Yeah, that will go on there. You can see the curve there, guys. Yeah, it's very dusty and messy doing these sprue and the cushions, but it's all good fun. But yeah, I think this will be getting busier over the next coming weeks. Nice to have quiet builds on on builds like quiet weeks if that makes sense. Some weeks and then you, you pay for it the week after. <laughs> it's nice to have quiet weeks sometimes. Yeah, I'll have to give this a good dust in a minute at the desk and that so it's nice and clean for the next video. And check out the Titanic guys if you've not watched it already. What I've done on the last video is filmed a little bit how it's looking now i've put the decks rested on top of each other. i've not joined them together we ain't got to do that as yet but what i've done is placed them on top of each other and it looks absolutely beautiful it's amazing so if you've not already watched that or seen that check it out in the playlist titanic from hashi park works it looks amazing guys And we've got some fiddly ones. Um, next week we've got to build one of the, I think one or two of the cranes. What go on the deck? I'm going to maybe have to get my magnifying glasses out for that because it's very, very fiddly from what I've seen. And what I might do in future, guys, in the next coming weeks and months, for example, if there's two issues where there's only a little thing being done on any of the builds this is i might do two bumper issues in one video if that makes sense so so for example next week or the week after i've got to do one piece of hull and then the, the week after fitting another part of the hull to it do them both together so that'll be good for you guys to watch two videos in one <sighs> So just in one one whole panel, put two in the bottom and the top. So that's what I'm planning on doing in the future with the Titanic and maybe other builds I'm doing. So right, here we go. We've got all four walls. Now done. Cushions are on. Now what I've got to do is take each one off, put it back on, glue them on, and I'll be nice and secure. So what I'm going to do, guys, you just sit back. Watch, I'm going to time lapse it and we'll race through this. And that's it for this week's issue guys, we've done all four walls, we've put all four cushions on, all the selection of cushions on each wall, glued them on, they're all secure now, we've got to store them until issue 26, which will be next week guys, do hope you enjoyed it, come back for more next week, more money talking, and of course, watch whatever's on the channel between now and then, take care guys, thanks for your support, see ya. And that is it for this week's issue of the Millennium Falcon from Phantom, guys. Basically, all we've done this week, it was a bit time consuming getting all the walls, the cushions off the wall, but we have just basically lined some walls. Pretty easy issue this week, guys. A bit time consuming, as I say, taking the, um, the cushions off the, the sprues, etc. But apart from that, it was just about looking at the instructions, putting the right size in the right place, gluing them to the wall, job done. Do hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you did give us a big thumbs up, 
and also if you've not already subscribe for more and when you click that subscribe button it's all free guys press that bell notification you'll always be notified whenever i put a video up on the channel whether it's the db5 the titanic the millennium falcon whatever i put up on the channel guys you will get notified as long as you press your bell notification when subscribed thanks for your support guys thanks for the subs the likes the comments the shares i do really appreciate you guys but for now that is it for this week's build of the millennium falcon come back next week for more and obviously look on the channel every day guys this is what else i'm putting up on the channel rich 43 but for now guys see you soon take care peace